Yeah. Um, well, I, you guys played with a small lineup the last few games, um, but how important was it to get you know Turner's early foul trouble, Sabrina's early foul trouble, and and kind of take some of their bigs off the floor early in the game to, to maybe help get guys in paint, create some space. Getting Sabonis and Turner early fouls um, first quarter to just maybe either get them off the court or create a little more space with some of their bigs being unavailable. It was good, it was good for us, um, you know, we could uh, you know, get the driving lanes, make the right pass, you know, go the way, obviously, both of those guys crowd the paint very well, great shot blockers, um, and it's kind of, it gives you kind of a little bit of break defensively, also because they always go to, for the first rebound. Um, so, you know, you have them in the foul trouble early, benefit that team. You guys thought? What did it look like from behind here? Uh, uh, defensively, what was kind of the difference for you to what they were doing in the first half versus what they were doing in the second half? It felt like you know they put Brogdon on you for a little bit, they were double teamed a little bit, but just like, what was the difference for you? Uh, I think about towards the end, they kind of put Malcolm on me, um, bringing the uh, Bidaje over the dribble, Double team me, but at the end of the day, guys were ready. Pat was ready, Jordan was ready, Chris was ready, Grayson was ready uh, to shoot the ball. We were able to move the ball, get some more shots, some fall, some did. Uh, but you know, it's good. I, like I don't feel like double team is a bad thing for us. You know, you just have them in the scramble mode. If we move the ball real well, if they, you know they choose to you know be in the scramble mode the whole game, we'll get tired. No, but at the end of the day, we gotta, we gotta do a good job just finding the open shot. How do things look different for you when you guys are in these two off ball kind of lineups? Like with no Brooke on the floor, it's legitimately just four smaller shooters around you. Does do, does things like look different? Um, it is different, obviously, without Brooke, but still Brooke like space the floor really well. Um, defensively, it's different. Obviously, not having uh, Brooke uh, present down there as a shot blocker and. Um, to face a rebound also. But at the end of the day, I feel like sometimes uh, not having Brooke out there is kind of it's kind of hard for me. I don't know, like, should I go screen? Should I get out of the way? Should I go to the dunker? You know, you, you have me, like, second guess sometimes. Uh, I, my last one for you. Just, you draw the double, swing, swing to Grayson, and then Grayson drives all the way to the basket. Lefty. Lefty, nice. Um, we were kind of talking about how He's got to shoot the ball, right? Like that was kind of your message to to him. Bud said, "Hey, we tell him all the time, like you got to let it fly." But in the biggest, one of the biggest moments of the game, he has like the composure and ability to go to the basket. Kind of what does that mean for you guys? Big time, big time, big time play. He can put it on the floor. He can finish. You know, he can get to the free throw line. He, you know, he's a big body for uh, for a guard. Uh, it was big time play by him. He can shoot the ball. He can drive the ball. He can do it. Yes, and Chris, I know you guys talked about that Miami game being a learning experience for the young guys. Uh, how do you think uh, they did today? I also for Chris or for me? For both. Uh, I don't know, uh, Chris. <laughs> I think he did. Uh, no, they did great. Jordan, especially on the defensive end, now some size down for it. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, Jordan did great on both ends, actually, after plays, um, grabbing some rebounds, and then doing what he does, knocking down shots. I think Justin did a great job too, controlling the team when he was in there. Um, playing the point guard position is tough, especially for a young guy coming into a new team. But I thought he did uh, extremely well. And then uh, talk about Sandro, a guy that's trying to learn. Uh, he did a great job, brought in uh, multiple guys. There's a bonus who's an all star, he's been in his league a couple years. And to step in and guard somebody like that is tough. Um, it's a mental game um, with a guy like him. I think you know, he, he played well, especially on the offense and shot the ball. I don't know if he made the threes. But you know he's aggressive, put the ball in the down on the floor, make plays for other guys. Chris, you had a dozen points in the paint, four second chance points. What what does that do for you, or change things for you? Because obviously it, people want to, I guess, crowd you around that mid range game. But to get in the paint and, and be that close to the basket had an effect. Just having an effect, you know, all areas on the court. Um, that just makes you know, our team better. Um, be a little bit more hard to, 
to guard or, or set in on. It's just finding extra ways to get you know easy baskets for myself and other guys. How hard was that corner three? Have you? <laughs> did you do it? Like what was? No, nah, it's just you know. Don't I really try to never think about the defense while I'm shooting? Just you know, if I'm going to shoot, it just you know go to my natural form. If I get contact, you know, I get contact. Just stay focused on the shot. That's you know I've trained myself in my mind uh, when I go for shots. Have you practiced? Did you see the rim? Definitely saw it. No, nah, yeah, I knew exactly where I was. Um, you know, um, just just shoot the ball. You know, whatever happens after that, it happens. But knowing the clock is running down, I have much time for my, for less for anything else. Just be confident and uh, raise up and shoot it. Did you notice it was Pat's idea to get you in there? I mean, he was yelling at Bud. We got two point five left. Nah, I like it though. I mean, I like it. I mean, anytime. Uh, I, I feel like anybody can get a chance to get a, a quick shot up and with no pressure knowing that you have to shoot it no matter what. It's a free shot for you, so why not? You know, just take it and enjoy it. Yeah, Chris, you didn't get a chance to cover Sabonis kind of throughout the game, and then all of a sudden, three minutes left, you have him on the block. Just what did you see on that play where you got the poke out, and kind of what's your mindset guarding him? You know, um, obviously he can face up, you know, knock down the uh, face up jump shot. But, uh, you know, I knew, like, in that moment, uh, you know, the game, uh, he's going to try to, you know, back down, try to go left uh, for his hook, I'll try to get in the paint. Uh, so I was able to just put my body in front of him, try to use my length and poke the ball out, out of his hand. Um, that's what I usually do. You know, I'm not going to try to outstrong someone if he's way stronger than me. I'm just going to try to use my length and um, that play worked out for us. You've gotten that poke away a couple times early in this season. Kind of what's the key to being able to get in there and actually, like, you know, because guys are going to try to keep you away from it. Being skinny. <laughs> you know, when you're, uh, actually, no, it's just, just, you know, left, using your left, you know, being able to take the hit with your chest and still poke at the same time. You know, uh, usually when, uh, you know, uh, the guy in the post feel your chest, feels comfortable. He's trying to get in his rhythm, so he kind of take his mind off the ball. You know, so whenever you know somebody is trying to like try to bully me in the post, I always try to use my left, as I said. And uh, sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I get in foul trouble, but uh, I was able to get it back. Uh, so, what do you think of Ward's game tonight? What do you think about what? What do you think of Jordan's game tonight? Obviously, we know he's an elite scorer, but defensively, he's really doing a lot. And Drew said one of his favorite players reminds me of young Chris. <laughs> That's the narrative out there right now for Jordan, elite <laughs> scorer. Uh, no, he's, he's playing great. Uh, he's knocked down shots for us. He's moved the ball, the ball is staying aggressive. And he just learned how to, you know, uh, play with us. Uh, I'm happy that he's in the rotation. He works and hard to be in the rotation. And he has, you know, one of the best uh, pieces right here on my left, Chris. Uh, to master his game after, you know, always. So, yeah, he's playing well. He's playing really well for us. Right, Chris, in the game real quick, you had, they went on a 12-2 run. Um, they get within five, and then you hit Thanasis for a dunk, and then there's that long break with the jump ball, all that stuff, and then come out, hit Pat with a three. Is, there, is that one of those things where the the break actually helps to a degree? Bud said you, you ended up not having to come out for a rest and the home team kind of lost a little of that momentum. Did it feel that way to a degree with that, that long review? <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess when you feel like that, I definitely got you know a chance to catch my breath. I'm sure he did also. Um, but you know, you never want to you know stop the game. Like, you, know, you want to keep playing no matter what. But uh, I think the, the break definitely worked out for us. It got us to settle down, kind of use that as a timeout, uh, refocus. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks.